Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're talking Love Island, Australia, episode four, you guys. And we have a lot of things to get to that took place in this episode because I feel a certain way, you guys. I feel a certain way. You guys are falling for the Jordan sympathy edit. And I am here to tell you, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, that none of the women are romantically interested in Jordan, you guys. None of them are romantically interested in him, okay? They are being nice to him because they don't want to look like jerks, you guys. Claudia never liked Jordan from the start, you guys. There was a reason. She was asking about the mullet. She wasn't attracted to him. She wasn't attracted to the mullet. And she was hoping that that would be a deterrent and he would not choose her. But he saw it as a challenge and an opportunity to still choose Claudia anyways because she's the baddest in the villa, you guys. She's the baddest in the villa. She's the main character. All the guys want to date her. And, you know, he thought that he could convince her that, you know, to fall for him or what have you. And it just wasn't there. Claudia even said she liked Austin from the start, but once Layla said in their deliberations that she was zoned in on him, she took a step back. But secretly, she was hoping Austin would still choose her anyway so that she didn't look like a jerk, you guys. Um, so I find it funny that now all of a sudden people are trying to instigate and make Jordan, you know, this silly pup that needs coddling and make Austin and Claudia the bad guys for having feelings for each other, you guys. There is nothing inappropriate. There is nothing wrong that they did. You guys were what, day four, day five into the season and day four, day five into the villa why is it an issue that by day two, day three, Austin and Claudia realized, you know what? We have a stronger connection. And so what that it took a kiss from a challenge and another kiss from a second challenge for that to reaffirm their feelings. They've actually been holding back, you guys. They could have spent all this time together once they recognized their feelings, but instead they were being respectful to their, you know, respected partners or in Claudia's case, since she's single, the person who is, you know, who was all in on her, who she was in her original couple with you guys. But um, you guys are falling for the okie doke. Claudia and Austin are about to steam up the screens, you guys. Claudia and Austin are about to give you guys what winner couple material is giving because Phoebe and Mitchell is giving furniture, you guys. They are giving us nothing. Pocahontas is out the door, you guys. Um, you know, he's getting no camera time. And him and Stella are not into each other, you guys. And I don't even know if Stella's even into anybody in the villa. And that was the other point I wanted to bring up about Jordan is that Jordan said that he, since things didn't work out with Claudia, he's just going to stick around for a bombshell. So he's not interested in anybody. So those of you that are shipping him with Stella, they're not into each other, you guys. She is basically doing him a favor by keeping him in the villa. And unfortunately, he is going to be here for a while, at least through Casa Amor, because you guys are falling for the puppy dog eyes. And I do not know why. The bombshells are just going to come in and bomb and use him until they get the man that they want, you guys. Don't fall for the okie doke. Um, also, what is next? So these guys are not into Jess, you guys. Jess is this season's Ari to where, you know, the guys are going to pretend and then when their real type comes in, they're going to be all over it. As far as Tack goes, I knew he was never into Jess. You know, that's cute that they have anime in common and a few other things and they have jokes and things. But I knew he was interested in the blondes. You have to pay attention to, you know, who they're looking at versus what they're telling people, you guys. And you could see, you could peep game. I knew he was into Stella and Holly is his backup plan if, you know, Stella, in fact, chooses Jordan in the recoupling. But he was never into Jess like that. The people who are, quote, all over Jess right now, it's because there's a recoupling, you guys. It's because it's a recoupling and they don't want to go home. I don't even think Connor's into Jess, you guys, because he's been treating her like crap. But now all of a sudden wants to be interesting and, you know, being vulnerable and all these things because now multiple men are after her. And we have to talk about how much Jess is benefiting from the fact that she is BFFs with the star of the show, Claudia, you guys. And that is an added benefit for these men to continue to get screen time. And Colum has been in game mode, you guys. He has been after Layla from the beginning, you guys. 
He has been after her from the beginning. There's a reason him and Tak never said who their types were. Because they already knew their types, but they didn't want to look like a jerk. So they were grafting with the most vulnerable people that they knew that the men didn't like. So that way, by the time things opened up for the women that were their actual types, they could be more vocal about it and not look like jerks. And not just be out in the open from the start like what Austin and Claudia did because they're seeing the backlash that they're getting from people being catty and, you know, pressed in the villa, you guys. Um, so I knew right away, you know, like I said, with talk with the blondes and Colum, that yes, he's into Claudia, but he knew that, you know, she's all in on, um, you know, Austin. So therefore that's not going to happen. But I knew Colum was after Layla. You guys have to look back at the previous episode where Colum is trying to convince Austin to go after it with Claudia because that frees him to Layla. And that's what I wanted to, you know, really express, you guys, is we are too early in the season for people to, you know, be attached and act like they are married off. And that, and Phoebe and Mitchell, they, they've they seemed to just, you know, already solidify their marriage because they just have no intentions of doing anything for these next six weeks, you guys. <laughs> like, they're not even getting screen time for it. Um, So there is that. But, um, you know, essentially that is really what I wanted to talk to um phoebe i don't understand why she is trying to be messy and trying to be an instigator like her shouting when austin and claudia went to have another chat because they had a second kiss in this episode from this jenga style type of challenge and it was steamy you guys it was steamy i mean my screen was heating up i don't know about yours but anyways she's up here yelling from the balcony trying to be messy and I just didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Here's the thing, you guys. Nobody is entitled to anybody. And I get that Layla's your friend and probably the person you're closest with in the villa. But she's not entitled to Austin. If Austin is not into her, why should she stick around in a couple knowing that Austin has feelings for Claudia? Knowing that Austin is not sexually attracted to Layla? Knowing that Austin told Layla that he didn't feel anything when they kissed? And that there have been sparks multiple times with Claudia? And why is it an issue that it took a challenge for them to kiss? This is what happened before where, you know, sometimes you feel something in a challenge and sometimes you don't, but they've been eyeing each other before the challenges you guys they were eyeing each other before the challenges because they are the best looking in the villa you guys and and, and that's just on period so they're about to be a power couple um also i have an issue because we're only seeing four episodes a week which i feel like is a huge mistake we could at least get five episodes um i do not understand why we couldn't see the recoupling ceremony tonight because it looks like pocahontas is out of here so i don't understand why there needs to be any suspense um there's nothing going to be you know shocking or jaw breaking or anything unless it's jordan they decide to get rid of but production loves jordan so he's not going anywhere so, but I'm pretty sure, like 99.9% .9 sure that Pocahontas is out of the door. So I have no idea why we are dragging this out, you guys, especially if we're only going to be doing four episodes. These need to be either longer episodes for the week, and they should have just extended this episode by 10 or 15 minutes to do the recoupling. And, you know, then we can go into the fresh week with whatever new bombshells and new challenges that are going to be, um, you know, present in the villa and that sort of thing. Because now what's going to happen is we are going to waste the first 15 minutes of Monday's episode because we're going to have such a long wait, you know, these next three days. And, you know, by that point, there's been so much things that have progressed real time in the villa that we are missing out on. And also we need to call out production because... They tried to play you in the preview for today's episode yesterday by trying to make it seem like Claudia was going to move on from Austin and that she wasn't going to be anyone's second choice when she knew that Austin was all in on her, you guys. And I found it funny that Layla also had the same soundbite about not being second best and being somebody's second choice. Like, seriously, production, can we, like, stop interfering? Because it's getting sad. It is getting sad and it is getting unnecessary, you guys. Um, so there is that. But please let me know what your guys' thoughts are. What did you guys think of episode four, Love Island, Australia? I feel like the season's heading up, you guys. I feel like this has a potential for being a really good season because Claudia and Austin are carrying the season on their backs. Jess is carrying the season on her back, um, you know, and it's just been entertaining. Holly has faded 
Um, Phoebe and Mitchell are furniture. Uh, Pocahontas is furniture. And outside of Austin and um, Claudia and Jess, I'm also rooting for Stella because I think she's really kind and I think she's genuinely there for love. Um, it's just unfortunate the group of guys that she has right now are just not it for her. They're, they're not compatible for her. So therefore, she needs to stick around until a better bombshell comes in for her. And that's on that. Uh, but please let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.